Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. We are here at Sylphid Station, where we bought a new ship. We bought a carrier, which is quite nice. I like custom carrier with three fighter wings. That should help us a bit. And now we are heading back to... Uh, we're heading to Arn and we're heading to Elnor. We might hit Arn, then go to Nim, and then go to Elnor. Because uh, we have on us a Gamma Core, or an Alpha Core, sorry. And some weapons and stuff that I want to store. But let's head to Arn. We have 56,000. 56, which is quite nice. Uh, and we're full up on fuel, I think, more or less, anyway. Let's just jump in here. And see what we've got. Is there... Nah. That kind of sucks. Uh, and we have an ice giant here. We have key, which is a gas giant. And a burnt world as well there. And then a tundra world up here, which could be nice. So we'll explore a little bit here. There's something over on... Come on. This side, let's not have this active. A mining base. Not bad. Explore. Okay. Solar shielding. In combat reduces energy damage taken by 20%. Not bad. Okay. Some heavy armor, some transportonics, some metals, volatiles, and organics. And we're almost full again. Okay, and there is debris from that. Let's take all that. Drop off some organics, I think. Take all of that, drop off some organics. We're okay for fuel. We have a lot of uh, heavy machinery. Okay, good start, good start. So let's head down here because there could well be a mining base down there as well. Do a ping on the way. And do a ping here. Nothing here. Except it does have... I don't think we can perform the survey though. New. No. It does have ruins though. It does have ruins, but we can't do it yet. We just don't have the crew for it. Uh, let's head up here. Have a look. Uh, nothing really. This guy has ruins. And we can survey it. Extensive ruins, abundant ore deposits. Okay, for the ruins. Okay, light phase lance blueprint. We'll learn that. The pirate blueprint package, we'll learn that. Raven LPC. Pirate phase lance. A lot of organics again. Ooh, a lot of transplutonics. 
Okay, we'll take everything. And then we will eject some stuff and put it into a stable orbit. Put the pods into a stable orbit. 93 supplies. Proceed. And we will head back to... Sulfid Station and sell off what we have. Tangerine something. Alright, so food station, here comes some stuff for you. Trade goods. Uh, 24,000 only. That's not enough for that. We can get a lot more money for that elsewhere. So what we're going to do... We're going to head down to, there's another station here, isn't there? Cast room, let's just see what we can get from it for, for it there. 134, that's way better. That's way better. We'll sell that. Then we'll head down to Nim and offload our stuff. Uh, actually, is there a nice freighter here? Uh, by there's a freighter there, 300 cargo capacity. What I'd really like is a Colossus. Also has only 300. There is a Colossus with 900 capacity, which is what I want. Hmm. Colossus costs 62,000. This one only costs 32,000 for the same cargo capacity. Refit you. You're just getting point defense. And you're getting uh, expanded cargo holes. We don't have efficiency overhaul yet. Uh, civilian great hull. Um, militarized subsystems. Can't afford that. Uh, militarized subsystems. PD laser. There. Okay. So that's a bit more space in our cargo holes, but still not enough. Still not enough. So we will head to Nim, I think. Drop off what we have. Uh, 
and then head back up and get some more stuff. This is a lot of money we're making. And where is Osmo Station? Okay, storage. Gives us a bit more space, but not a whole lot. Then we'll head back up to An. Clouds. Dang it. Dang it. So where was this? It was here, wasn't it? I think it was there. Yes, it was. Grab everything. We can't carry it again. We can carry that. And I think that's okay. We won't come back for this stuff. Uh, yeah, that's okay. Head out again. We're coming back though because there was this tundra world and then there are these asteroid fields over here let's just bring this sensor or array online let's take a look at this two d mods it's a frigate degraded engines and increased maintenance. No. Not interested. Let's get rid of some of you. And I think we have to head down to Nim again because I think we overloaded the others with uh, the other two planets with Transplutonics. So we'll head down here to Osma Station. It's an airline analyzed derelict ship contract. So there is no transplutonics here. 87 per no. No 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 no. <sighs> Sulfid Station actually wants. Hmm. We only want three hundred, though. Volatiles price is okay. Let's leave. We'll take a look at Talos as well. Eighty-nine. Leave. Okay, so that was a waste flying down to Nim. We need to head to Sylphid Station. Uh, what am I doing? Uh, go to system map. Sylphid Station.
Okay. Hundred and seventy seven per unit. Hundred and three thousand. I'll take it. I'll take it. Fill up on fuel. Get a few supplies, maybe just fifty. Okay. I think we'll hire some crew as well. Okay. Now, what can we buy? Uh, modular tanker. Fuel capacity 2500, cargo capacity 300. Okay, I want one of those eventually. Can't quite get the good stuff. Can't quite get the good stuff. I mean, we could get a venture, but mm, doesn't really fit in with our fleet, does it? I don't think we're going to buy anything here. Let's leave. We'll head back to Ann and check out the rest there. Analyze derelict ship for 50,000. Let's just take a look at these because there were, were a few. Analyze derelict ship stuff. Uh, exploration. Ah, oh, that's too far away. What about bounties? 85,000. Mm -mm. mm -mm. I think exploration is our way forward right now. Uh, we jump in here again. Here we'll pick them up. These cargo pods. Oh. And then we'll see if there's anything else. There's something in here. Equipment cache. Barris class combat freighter blueprint. Okay. Base value 295,000. Tin Dunk Blueprint package. Right, we'll take that. I'm not sure I want to learn this or uh, or sell it. Large freighters design akin to the Atlas class. You know, trade fleet and supply convoys more heavily armed than such a ship has any right to be. Often enough to dissuade a pirate raid. The Taurus were being horribly unwieldy. A trait that is downplayed by rows and rows of vector thrusters that can be engaged in emergencies. I'd really rather sell it, I think. Okay. But it's definitely worth exploring this system. Whoops. There's something over here. A minor supply cache. Looks like that. Let's just do a ping again. Nothing. Now we are spending money on storage now, which I don't like. Ah, crap. Keep hitting the wrong button. I really need to change that. Stop it. Okay. Let's put remote survey there instead. And then here we'll do emergency burn. Okay. And I don't want my transponder on. Let's 
nothing. Nothing here. We're heading up to that one. That has has ruins. Old space elevator. What does that do? Accessibility plus fifty percent. Abundant organics. Moderate ore. Moderate rare ore. Adequate farmland. This is a very very colonizable planet. Sunburst, scatter cannon, anti armor. Okay, uh, metals, transplutonics. Right, that's um, show system info. So we have three planets that we haven't surveyed. Four. Need to survey this barren world. We don't have enough crew to survey the others. But let's see. Mesa. It has poor light, extreme weather, extreme cold, high gravity. So that's hazard rating of 250. That's not very nice. You have extensive ruins, abundant ore. 250, 175, sparse ore, and that's it. Let's lay in a course for Gormenghast. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, that has ruins as well. Widespread ruins and abundant ore deposits. Cold, no atmosphere. Hundred and seventy-five. Administrator uh, will release him of his duties, I think. Obviously a shock artillery. Pressure. Medium energy. Okay. Damage to second 135, but EMP damage 200. That's not half bad. Let's just ping here, nothing. We'll lay in a course for there, and we will just do a ping at the core of the system as well. We're over fuel capacity by one. Let's uh, get rid of that one fuel. Uh, there's something up here. Uh, well, down there. There was something up here as well. What was that? Oh, that's of course our uh, one fuel. This down here is just ships, I think. Yeah. All right, we'll head out. But that one planet was very, very nice. We are almost full, so I guess we'll head over to Sulfid Station and drop off. Okay, there are some bounties. Let's just take a look at Castrum. 137, I'll take that. 25, I'll take that. 21, I'll take that. Class 5 survey data. Class 2 survey data.
49 of you. 236,000. You know what? I'm going to sell it. And get us four up to 400,000. That should be enough for a nice ship, right? Uh, bye. Well, I would get you if you didn't have all that damage. Uh, large energy. So for an R&D military. Requires cooperative. What is my relationship with Sulfan R and D? Seventy-four. Friendly. Do we need to get to seventy-five to be cooperative? Now there is a Sunastri cruiser here. Which I may, may well get. Let's just quickly head to Sulfid Station first before we start buying anything. It's right here. Open market. The Lestri Heavy Cruiser, but it has a D mod. Glitch sensor in here. Only a drone carrier. Two small missile, two small synergy, four medium energy, four small energy, three fighter base. Hmm. We do have another carrier, Captain. So is another carrier what we want? I don't want any of that. So do we want the Iwar cruiser or the only a drone carrier? I think I want the cruiser. I think I want the cruiser. Yeah, I'm getting the cruiser. Let me know what you think of that decision. Should I have chosen the drone carrier instead? I don't know. Uh, but I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Uh, bye. So let's just read about this. The Sinastri is an advanced EUR cruiser rarely seen in Sylphon's fleets. The reliance on alpha level AI cores as central control unit makes these ships expensive to build and difficult to find willing operators for. Their effectiveness, however, cannot be denied as the Snastri is capable of providing a wide range of fleet support in and out of battle. Buying it. And in the next one, we are going to refit it. Yeah, because we are basically out of time, guys. So in the next one, we will uh, refit our brand new cruiser here. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.